though I saw this thing on TikTok where if you have green grapes and you put lime juice on them, they taste like Sour Patch Kids. And I was like, nah, bro, that's not real. Let's be honest. I might not be the first thing that you will find on YouTube when you look up healthy eating, but at the same time, if we manage to make grapes taste like Sour Patch Kids, I'm all in. I've seen a few of these TikToks on transforming grapes into Sour Patch Kids, so I'm interested. I've seen a different TikTok that also used the same lime juice technique, but what they did was they added the lime juice and also some sugar. So I'm gonna try both just to tell you which one tastes like Sour Patch Kids. I think this will work, but what I think is irrelevant. So here we've got some lime juice. Ingredients, 100% lime lime juice. Ooh, that's gonna be spicy. <laughs> Is spicy what you say? I can't believe I finished my education. Oh wait, I didn't. To this one on this side, I'm just gonna add a few drops of lime juice, maybe a little bit more. If you guys play the TikTok back, they actually use lemon juice on the TikTok and not lime, but most of them actually said lime. Wait, so I'm gonna do a little bit here as well. The only difference will be that in this one, I'm gonna add some sugar or sweetener. Maybe this will make it taste more like Sour Patch Kids. I'm gonna start with this one. So we don't have any Sour Patch Kids to use as a control group, but it's safe to say that it's pretty fresh in my memory. So let's give this a try. Interesting. It's not as sour as I was expecting, but also it doesn't quite have the sweetness of like candy. Like it still tastes like grapes. Just we added flavor to it. Let me try with the sweetener and the lime juice. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot better. I feel like you could even use more lime juice and more sugar as well. <laughs> this is 100% approved. Like, thank you, TikTok. I start eating grapes. Wow, that's good. Mm. Grab yourself a glass, fill it three quarters of the way with ice and your chosen milk. Grab a mug, two teaspoons of coffee. Fill the mug up with a tiny bit of boiling water and stir. Pour it into the glass um, and enjoy it. So I'm actually pretty excited for this one. They start by pouring some milk on ice. This is gonna be like 80% milk. I'm actually excited to give this a try because on the previous TikTok video that we've made, a lot of people said, how do you make a video about TikTok foods and not include the Dalgona coffee, which is that creamy coffee that you pour on top of milk. And I use like a whisk and it just made a mess. I got coffee all over the walls. I had many dishes to clean up. However, the reason why I wanna try it this time around is because if you one of these you can just put it in the dishwasher so it could be that it works i'm gonna be using some instant coffee oh this is like dry oh no oh no do you know how much coffee maybe a little bit more just to be safe i didn't plan on getting much sleep anyway so i'm gonna be using some sweetener as well I like it quite sweet. This is the exciting part. To this, we're gonna add some hot water. My bottle is made of glass, so I am scared this is gonna break. So we're gonna put the lid on it. This should be fun. We're gonna shake it. Ooh, am I creating like a bomb? Wow, I definitely should have used more coffee, but I feel like it could work. I feel like it could have been a little bit creamier, but that's honestly not bad. Like if I went to your house and you served me a glass of this, I would be like, am I paying for the services or is this free? Let's give it a try. I mean, it is really concentrated, like the coffee, it's like really bitter. I should have definitely used more sugar. To me, this is the only approved way of having Dalgona coffee. So 100%, I'm all in. I'm gonna impress some people. Things we did. Guys, I was today years old when I found out that you can actually peel both ways. I used to just do that, but look at this. Oh my God, why didn't anyone tell me about this? Far out. Even though this one is not really a recipe, but this is more like a hack, I decided to include it in the video anyways because I feel like this will be something you could definitely use for actual recipes. So I think in the video, the lady is using um, a cucumber. We're using a courgette. It's very similar, right? 
I feel like you will slide the same, but by the way, I never knew this. Like, if someone actually already knew that you could go both ways, please let me know in the comment section, but your IQ is like, you know, higher than mine, but that's not an accomplishment. Let's give it a try. Okay, so normally, yeah, that's what I would do, and then move on to the next one. So let's see. <laughs> Wait, it didn't work? Let me try again. Down. It slides. It seems like I'm making this on purpose, but I swear it's actually not working. So down and I'm going to try to hold it the other way around. Oh, maybe I have to hold it differently. So let me try to slide down. Let me try this again. Okay, down. It definitely does not work like that. If I use it upside down, I have to go at an angle. So down and up. It does not feel very practical because you have to definitely hold it at an angle, but I think it definitely depends on your peeler. I was gonna try it on potatoes, but I won't because I wasn't convinced that every peeler works for this. Recipes for courgette. Leave them down below, I need them. Like, what am I gonna do with this? Here's a tutorial for the knife glass. At first, you grab your lighter and a knife and bend it, do both. For the middle piece, you're gonna use a piece of a fork, melt it onto one of the knives, and then attach it to the other knife. And that's all you have to do. Super easy. Have fun and be safe. This is not like a recipe or even a food hack. This is just straight up stupid. And honestly, so stupid that I couldn't ignore it. We had to try it. So. I've got two little plastic knives here. These better be worth it. Mine are black, so these are gonna be sunglasses getting ready to be TikTok famous. I don't have a real lighter. I've only got one of these. It's basically a taser. No, this is definitely gonna break. So now, oh my God, we made sunglasses. Wow. Honestly, I like it. <laughs> Regardless of how these come out, I am going to rock them. Wait. Wait, did I do something wrong? Oh no. Oh no. I should have bent it the other way around. Wow. Turns out there's a right way to do this. That has to be really hot. Like, I do not want to touch that. Let's try this again with safety. Okay, this is actually working. So now I need this little corner here to melt. And now, okay, so I think I might need to hold it for a second. If you're thinking this is plastic waste, I actually don't use this for takeout. That's the reason why I had them lying around. Okay, let's give this a try. These look like meme glasses. <laughs> Me when I get three likes on TikTok. Oh my God. These are too like long for me. My glasses. I mean, look, we tried it and I'm gonna keep these forever as like, this is one of the best memories that I'm gonna have from my videos. Is it stupid? Yes. Does it work? Yes. I mean, keeping it real now, jokes aside, do not waste plastic. And if you do, just keep them at home. Don't throw it away. So I tried this new restaurant today called The Kitchen, and basically the concept is that you gather all your own ingredients and make your own food. I'm actually very excited to give this a try. So in the TikTok, they removed the crust. I kind of love the crust from the bread, especially in like toast and like sandwiches. I didn't used to like it, but no. I'm gonna try to do five, because I think in the video they present it as like a little pyramid. Wow. So before they spread the Nutella, I think what they do is they flatten down the bread. Wow, that was really satisfying to do. I've got these ridiculous thin slices of bread and we're gonna put the Nutella in it. I don't need a further step to this recipe. This is enough. It's been enough since I opened that bag of bread, but okay. When I arrive in heaven, this is what I want to smell. Bold of me to think that I'm going to heaven after this video, but okay. This is looking good, so we're gonna roll them up. I'm gonna do it quite tight because I think they're gonna spring back a little bit. Whoa, this one is really full of Nutella. Also what the doctor is gonna say when they're doing an autopsy of my body. So we're gonna crack one egg and a little bit of milk. We're gonna whisk this. 
Like the good thing about these TikTok recipes is that you don't actually need measurements because I'm only making five, I'm doing them all at the same time. So let me make sure that this is kind of hot, like our little cooking platform. So I'm gonna dip this in the egg. I'm gonna roll it around. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it on here. That sizzling sound, I don't know a better sound. And this is officially our last one. This side. So these are finished cooking. In the beginning, I was like, I thought they were low key ugly, but now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of grown on me. The most beautiful part is the Nutella sort of sticking out there. Because I didn't use any butter or anything on the outside, they're a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna let them roll around in oil a little bit. We've got cinnamon here. That smells like churros. We could always use a little more cinnamon. If I'm not coughing up on my first bite, he needs more cinnamon. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this around. I'm gonna need a little bit of oil to make this stick. A little sprinkle of cinnamon on top, just for that, that bougie look. I can even sprinkle cinnamon now. Who would have thought, not me? I mean, that straight up looks like the best like thing ever. It kind of looks like churros. I don't even know exactly what it looks like, but I want it. Let me grab this one. This is like the best one because it's got the most amount of sugar around. These are still very, very hot, but like, that's really good. I feel like I could have definitely cooked them a little bit longer, but I'm okay with that. Let's give this a try and also possibly the best looking thing we've ever done. Oh my God. Whoa. Immediately top three desserts like ever. I'm not just saying this, but this is like 100% worth it. Even if you don't like Nutella, like normally, it doesn't even taste like Nutella. It just tastes like the best chocolatey churro. It's really, really good. Like my mouth is salivating right now because I want to go for another one. 10 out of 10, like will make this for the rest of my life worth a TikTok download. Could cry with how beautiful that is. You start with a squeeze to allow space for the ketchup. Get yourself a couple cheese strings and pop them on top of the sis. Make your second bagel, but add some chili flakes for the kick. Let's pop them in the oven for 10. And that is your bougie bagel. Your meh. Was I mildly horrified watching this TikTok? Yes. Am I gonna eat this and most likely love it? Yes. Wow, I just realized my bagels are expired. I don't know exactly what I would call this. I guess like like a pizza bagel, a very quick pizza bagel. Like the reason why I was horrified, first of all, it was the pressing of the bread. I'm well aware that this is something that people feel strongly about. When you cook ketchup, it, there's something mildly gross about it. Like for me, ketchup, it should be cold. Like you dip things into ketchup. And trust me, like I will dip anything into ketchup, like a bagel, like dunk it in. Every single time that I buy bagels, I think to myself, why don't I buy bagels more often? But then I never do. <laughs> My bagels are expired, so do forgive me, but basically in the video, I just press it down. Something weird about pressing bread like that. I used to do it when I was a kid. I mean, you can't even see the difference, but it is pressed all around. So we're gonna put the cheese strings like where we pressed it down and it's supposed to stay. Oh wait, did I forget about the ketchup? Yes, I did. Oh, never mind, never mind. I forgot about the ketchup, so ketchup goes all around. All around where we made the little hole. Okay, so we're gonna press it into the ketchup. Wow, now it looks like something that a three-year-old. <laughs> it's me, I'm the three-year-old. I'm gonna put this one on top. Okay, that's honestly not a bad look. I would eat it just like that, like no cooking involved, but for the sake of TikTok, we're going to do it exactly like they've done it. So, okay. Cheese strings are potentially the best type of cheese ever. I'm gonna bake these and I'm gonna show you the result in like five to 10 minutes. So I just got these out of the oven and these are hot still, but like it just looks like a sandwich. We need to cut into it. It is crispy. Let's see if this is like super cheesy. I mean, it is definitely not bad. Oh. 
I mean, definitely not bad, but at the end of the day, it is um, a cheese string ketchup sandwich. <laughs> there was an idea here. It could have been elevated by like a pasta, like tomato pizza sauce instead. And like a different, no, the cheese is actually fine. I do love cheese strings. I don't know, I'm not complaining. I mean, I am, but not really. Like this is, it's pretty good. <laughs> heat up some coconut oil on low heat. Chop up some apples, any kind will do. Cook for about five minutes. Add some real maple syrup, lots of cinnamon. And I usually add some lemon, but I don't have one right now, so oh well. Add a sprinkle of old fashioned oats and enjoy. I'm not particularly interested in this because this is a healthy version of an apple pie because I honestly thought an apple pie was healthy already. I'm interested because this is supposed to be a five minute apple pie. So I'm only gonna make enough for me. So I'm gonna use about two apples. So I'm cutting them probably a little bit smaller than she did in the video because I want this to cook even faster. Uh, I think we're supposed to heat up just the coconut oil first, but I'm actually just gonna cook it all at the same time. Uh, did they say about two tablespoons of coconut oils? Probably a little bit more than two tablespoons, but we're gonna just cook that. Wait, why is there no sugar in this recipe? This is looking too healthy, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm excited because I'm not. <laughs> We'll wait before we judge, so I'm gonna give it five minutes. I don't know what kind of apple pie they've had. It's not like crunchy, like listen to this. Five minutes is not enough to cook this, like... Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I don't know, I could be wrong, so I'm just gonna follow what they did. So I'm gonna add an insane amount of cinnamon. <laughs> like this is all cinnamon. Oh, I see the cinnamon kind of picks up all the coconut oil. It does smell good. <laughs> all right, so that's cooking up. I mean, the apple remains um, crunchy. So this is maple syrup. So to this, I'm gonna add the oats. These are just plain oats, I don't know. I'm starting to change my mind because it does smell quite good. So I'm just gonna we're just gonna mix it all in. No, I feel like you could have used the whole maple syrup. That's what we've made. It tastes how Bath and Body Works smells. So this is supposed to be our beautiful apple pie. <laughs> so this right here is our deconstructed apple pie. Suddenly fall has been canceled. It is crunchy. I just want to say, everyone's going to say that I don't like it because it's healthy, but that's not the case. I just don't think this is, like, it just doesn't make any sense. The apple is, like, raw, which is fine, but I could have just eaten an apple. The oatmeal is not, like, soaked. There's not, like, a liquid for it. I feel like milk would be good here. I don't know. Coconut oil, maple syrup, it doesn't taste good together, to me at least. I mean, I will eat it. I saw this on TikTok. This is the way Kylie Jenner makes her noodles and it's so good. So you would normally take the square noodles. I didn't have any. I took two of the individuals, put it in boiling water. When it was about halfway cooked, I took half the water out and I just let it cook for a couple more minutes. So I had a little bit of water left in the pan. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put in a beaten egg. So one egg, whip it up put it in, mix it around really, really good because you don't want any thick chunks of egg in. Then you're going to add the seasoning. I had chicken and beef here, so I just mix them together because why not? Then I mix it all together and then I put in garlic seasoning and a little bit of butter. And you guys, I'm telling you, this is literally the best itchy ban I've ever had. I know what you're thinking. Kylie Jenner is not the food guru that we expected, but neither am I. I have a feeling that this is gonna be good. I'm not even gonna lie. I think this is gonna be incredible. Basically, I'm just adding the noodles. We're gonna save the seasoning for later. Uh, should we make two? I mean, I think this is gonna be good. I'm gonna make two. When I was living in Japan, I saw some people make noodles like that, like cook the noodles and then add the whisked egg into it. Not trying to take credit from anyone, but people do this. Why do I always act like I've never seen a stove before. I'm gonna add the water. So this is hot water, like as hot as you can get. 
So meanwhile, while this is cooking, I'm gonna whisk the egg. I'm gonna whisk the egg. So I'm going to remove some of the noodle water. We're supposed to remove about half. I think maybe we're gonna remove a little bit more. The noodles do look a little bit dry on top. Oh, no, they're soft, okay. This is one whisked egg. So I'm gonna pour that all over. Oh, it is looking kind of like creamy because it's mixing with the pasta water. The seasoning is um, chicken and mushroom flavor. So that's gonna go in now. That does smell good. I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of color. Like this is like straight up like beige. Kylie Jenner's carbonara did that. Now for seasoning, I think they said they use garlic seasoning. Uh, this is just garlic granules. I don't know if that's what they meant. This is some all purpose seasoning, which is made of paprika, onion, black pepper. So, and now we wait for the water. So the last step is the butter and then we can plate it. And I'm hoping that I can show you how creamy this is. A little bit of butter. And because it's me, just a little bit more. <laughs> no, just a little bit more. And now, we're gonna mix in the butter. That does look good, you know? I don't know if this is gonna make it more appetizing or have the opposite effect, but I'm putting it in a glass bowl. It is basically a really bad carbonara. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Our Kylie Jenner TikTok uh, ramen noodles. Like, if I gave you a close-up, it looks a little bit like vomit mixed in with ramen noodles. Obviously, I am hungry and obviously I am going to like this. But what I'm gonna judge it on is whether this was worth like four different bowls, one big pan and all the washing up that comes with it. Because that's the part that people never mention in videos. So... I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to love this as much as I did. But this is creamy. It tastes like it's got more ingredients than it actually does. Like if I close my eyes, I could almost taste like ham and like vegetables. I hate to say it, but 100% worth of your time. Depression meal check. <laughs> what the fuck is this? All I'm gonna say is they had me at depression. The video was really funny, but it honestly sounds like a good idea. I've had this conversation before as well with real people in my life, like they do exist, that a toaster is one of the most underrated cooking gadgets. I feel like people only use it to make toast, but there's gotta be so many more ways to use a toaster. I would love to make a full video dedicated on this. That's all they had at the supermarket, so ideally would use uh, you know, the white one. One of the reasons why I do like TikTok and some of the food hacks that I see on there, not to get too deep, but sometimes we find ourselves in situations in life in which you just don't have the motivation to go and cook something. I mean, I've been there, like you don't feel like you're worth like spending time making something for yourself. Sometimes these hacks can be kind of dumb, but they keep us alive. On that note, this looks incredible. Nobody the McDonald's fries packaging. So for this next one, I'm gonna use literally the same technique. The only difference is that I'm gonna be using just my favorite ingredients because I wouldn't eat just tortilla with cheese. So I'm gonna make one that I'm actually know that I'm going to love. This is some relish Texan jalapeno with tomato. So to that, I'm gonna add cheese. Ooh, that already looks better. I mean, no offense to whoever made the TikTok. And then I am going to add some turkey. So I'm going to just kind of like shred the turkey in there. This is going to be incredible. Um, sir? I think this definitely needs longer than normal bread. I'm finding it really hard to believe that this is not going to burn before the cheese melts, but I mean, I will keep you updated. Could be in there a little bit longer. I mean, that's a good amount of color, right? So this is the one that is the same as in the video. Um, it kind of fell apart a little bit, but maybe like I sucked at folding because this one, Mm, it does as well. 
we're kind of defeating the purpose here, but I'm gonna cut into it just so we see if the cheese melted. It's like half melted, half cooked, but I guess I could have definitely pushed it a little bit longer. Oh my god. Wow, it tastes like Taco Bell. Wow, I did that with flavors. Like this is honestly such a good combination of flavors. I wasn't even expecting that, I'm not gonna lie and pretend like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. This is incredible, really good, I love it. It's practical and it tastes like Taco Bell. Literally, no downside. Mm. I wanna make it so clear that I'm only trying this for you guys because I do not believe that this is going to work. I've tried a million of these hacks with eggs. Every time you pour an egg into a mold, into like bread, like I've seen a million versions of this. This is not my first rodeo and every time it just never works. So I don't think this is gonna be any different. I've watched the video like six different times. I feel like that's pretty good, but let me watch the video just to make sure. Well, I would say they went more like that, that seems like fitting. There's no way this is ever gonna work. Oh my god, that kind of worked? Okay, that's really weird. <laughs> that looks weird, but it's weird that it worked. Oh my god, why is this working? <laughs> I'm really freaked out. We're gonna attempt to transfer this without breaking. Okay. We did exactly everything they've done in the video, so this is the part where it's gonna fail. I already know it's gonna spill. I'm not even concerned whether this is going to cook or not, because I don't think we're even gonna get there. This is just gonna be my breakfast. Scrambled eggs with sausage. Oh, I had one shot. So I'm gonna try pouring it right in the center. And I'm not gonna touch it. Not sure if you guys can see on camera, but it's spilling a little bit around here. But on this side, it's like clean. It could be that this is the first time one of these egg recipes is actually working. I didn't think I would say this, but I'm gonna go grab the salt and pepper because it's looking like a snack. Suddenly, I'm in love. This is honestly looking so good that I'm actually gonna season it. The only thing is it's not cooking on top and if I flip it, this is definitely gonna fail. I'm gonna let it sit here for a good like two minutes and I'm hoping that when we uncover this, that we can basically hold it and I can show you the full effect. Please Jesus and the Virgin Mary and all of your best friends, make sure that my egg is fully cooked. Okay guys, so I've just finished doing a prayer. I'm really hoping that this works. So we're gonna uncover this and like, please be cooked. I would say that's cooked. I am hoping that this... Oh my god, it's holding its shape. This is 100% a first time on my channel, possibly in the world. This is gonna be the best moment on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you guys what we've made. It's beautiful. In the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but it's not fully burned. It's like toasty. There is literally only been spillage on this side right here. Other than that, this is like pretty good. This is like kind of cute. I mean, I don't know in which occasion it would be fitting to present someone with this. I guess you could present it to yourself like I'm doing, self-love. If you look at it from this angle, it's like a sausage butt crack. And on that note, bon appetit. Wow. Okay, it is, I think it's cooked. Let me see if the egg is still runny. Oh, that is actually pretty good. Bon appetit. I mean, I love it. Also a before and after representation of what my heart looks like, or just when you trust me with breakfast. On that note, I stand corrected. Like, this works, this is incredible. Those of you who like a, a meaty sausage heart, Give it a try. I'm not sure if you know about this, but when you buy a brand new Nutella, open it up, flip the lid over. There's actually two linings in here. There's a, a white lining and a silver lining in here. And then when you open up the silver lining, there should be a little knife. So 
to open Nutella. I think this is one of those in which I'm gonna lose brain cells just for even attempting this. And listen, I don't got many to spare. We've got three different sizes. One of them is not even a teller, just to fully test this. I don't think it's real. This one doesn't even have that little paper thing. It's just straight up plastic. This is a different brand Nutella. I thought it'd be interesting to put it in there because we had some at home. Even though this one is not like an official Nutella, it does have like a little paper thing, so it could be. Imagine if this one has a tiny knife. There's no tiny knife, just straight up plastic. Fake Nutella, nothing. And now this is the one <laughs> that we're gonna try. One teaspoon, 80 calories. They really advertise that. As your main consumer, trust me, I, I don't wanna be reminded. I know. I swear Nutella has never been that loud. Stop being dramatic for YouTube views. Also what my family said. Nope. It's just plastic. I did try it so you can laugh at me. I was 99% sure that we were being trolled. And on that note, what a weird video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it regardless. If you did, you know what to do. I really appreciate if you take the time to give the video a like. Emotionally, it lets me know that you guys want to watch a part three. That's about the only thing that does. But thank you for taking the time anyways. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I will put just the subscribe button down below. You've also got the notification bell. So those of you who have my notifications on, a huge thank you. By the way, I am on TikTok. I am trying to make content on there because I've been enjoying watching content from other people. But I do feel like I don't have a whole lot to add or contribute to the fun of TikTok. Maybe I'm being harsher myself. My TikTok is down below. So if you want to follow me, thank you. If you want to go and watch the few TikToks that I've been making, uh, go ahead. What I'm going to try to do is just give some extra content on TikTok. So let's say I make one of these videos and then I'm going to put like one or two extra hacks on TikTok. I love you guys and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a good time and I will see you guys on my next video, which should be in like three days, but it's me. So we never know. Bye bye.